I really have to thank you for asking me to tell you about string vests. So many everyday things in this world have an interesting history and string vests are no exception. <laughs> I really enjoyed finding out about them for you. So let's go. It turns out that string vests were invented in Norway by this guy, Henrik Brun. Henrik was a sheep farmer in the village of Uvdal, that's kind of halfway between Oslo and Bergen, in the middle bit of Norway. This is the earliest picture I could find of a string vest. It was obviously made by Henrik in Norway, and it's made out of a fishing net. So you would imagine in Norway, if not in the whole world, that Mr. Brun would be extremely famous for inventing the string vest. But no, he's not. <laughs> and this is where Google Translate comes in. What I read in Norwegian was very sad. It said that Mr. Brun has been erased from history because of his personal choice of fighting for the wrong side in World War II. Oh. Yeah, Henrik made a poor decision under the Norwegian leader, Mr. Quisling, you'll remember his name, who collaborated with the Nazis. Henrik Brun and his string vest joined the SS Norwegian troop. I don't really know much about his World War II. Here's some pictures of Mr. Brun in a German uniform. I think the Norwegian contingent of the German army were sent to fight in Russia. And no doubt Henrik's string vest kept him warm. But what happened next is fantastic. Somehow, and again, it's kind of been lost in history, Henrik's string vest was discovered by the Special Operations Executive, or spies, in World War II in the UK. And they decided to use Henrik's string vest as part of their secret kit to keep the spies warm. Here in this house in Scotland, the string vest was tested as part of their kit. And there's a report on it. The War Department said that the string vest was not liked by the commandos. And at the end of the test period, the string vest was only worn by two of them. The rest said it was uncomfortable and didn't really keep them warm. So now is probably a good time to explain the principle of what a string vest is. It's an open weave, mainly cotton garment with big holes in it. And the idea is that you wear it next to your skin and then you wear an outer garment on top of it. And those holes trap heat from your body like a thermal blanket. And what happened next is incredible. The string vest became adopted by the top end mountaineers including Edmund Hillary, who wore a string vest when he accompanied Sherpa Tensing to the roof of the world and conquered Mount Everest. Go string vest. This started a string vest industry, mainly from Norway with this company. The string vest exploded onto the market and it was adopted in the 1950s and 60s in the UK often with a euphemistic selling point as a health vest. But I think something strange happened. And for this story, I have to thank one of my Patreons. Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy worked in London for a fashion retailer that sold string vests to young men in London. And why they wore them was not to keep warm but to save money. And it's kind of complicated and wonderful. If you were a bachelor, a single young man in London, you needed a decent shirt to go to your office, but you didn't want to get your shirt sweaty in the summer. So you'd wear a string vest and then your shirt. It would save money because you wouldn't have to send your shirt out to be laundered. Remember at the time nobody had washing machines, especially not single blokes. So a string vest was actually saving their shirts from being ruined by sweat. 
But there was a big problem, Jeremy explains. Their bachelor brigade washed all their clothes in the laundrette, remember? Shillings and sixpences for a box of washing powder you poured into the machine and out came your clothes. All kind of clean and crinkly. String vests are made of cotton and if you wash them at extremely high temperatures they become pickery and unpleasant to wear. And that's why people stopped wearing the string vest, because they didn't use fabric softener. I think that's just a great story. The demise of the string vest was probably caused by single blokes not washing them properly. Oh, I, I mean, I can sympathize with that. But the string vest carried on as a science fiction fashion item and was used by punks. And even Scottish comedians wore them, as you will remember. So where is the string vest today? Well, I don't have one on myself, but you can still buy them. And they're super expensive and high tech. The original Norwegian company who made the first string vests still makes them for the Mountaineering Climbing Brigade. A short production run bespoke whole body string vest can be over a thousand pounds each. So there you have it. The string vests were invented in the 1930s by a Norwegian farmer who joined the Nazis. The invention was brought to Britain, not used by the SOE, but it did get to the top of the world with Edmund Hillary when he conquered Everest. And then it became the single bloke's outfit in London to stop their shirts looking sweaty. Who knew that? I guess the truth was always out there. Thank <laughs> you.